gonna give out tonight I can feel it There's something in the air You just cannot see it So let's get a move on It's time to put some moves on Today we are here at the Florida Theater at the Lush Lounge and we have a panel of hip-hop artists here in Gainesville. We are going to touch bases about the music industry here in Gainesville, the local music industry. We have Blazel, who's here with Swag House Entertainment. We have Alonzo, he's a hip-hop artist. We have Zapman with MOS Records. We have Edge Boss. We have Don, D-O-N, doing only numbers. We have Maintain. We have J Long. And we have Lil Poe. Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming. So do you think here in Gainesville, the hip-hop industry or the industry have a bad stereotype? It, it goes on. It's like, yeah, you can't just blame one, one set of people. It goes to the artists, the motors, DJ. Like, my opinion, I feel a lot of people that's here that does the music thing or whatever, the motor, DJ. A lot of them not from him, so they can't really, I don't think they really respect, you know, what was going on back in the day. You know, the, the, the game was if you got to see you sold one song for $10, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, that whole drive of just doing it and everybody having that same love is not here. I think the problem, one of the biggest problems is we don't understand the concept of building a music market. If people understand the concept of building a music market and how valuable it can be, then they'll understand how everybody got to move and lock step. Because you can have artists out here pushing their music to the limit, investing in themselves, taking all the right proper steps of being considered a, a professional artist, mm -hmm. but then you have, like say for the, the DJ segment of the, of the market, they don't take the artist automatically, if they not signed with a label, uh, they don't, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, they, they don't have like a big significance in the industry, then you kind of get looked over, you know what I'm saying? Instead of them really basing it solely on the material. So if we get back to the basics of putting out, uh, focusing on good material, then we can, you know, kind of box out all the all the other stereotypes because you can have a, a artist from out of town you know what I mean on the same status with the same amount of buzz as a local artist mm -hmm. but just because they're familiar with your face you know what I mean they want to you know what I mean they pretty much overlook you because you're a regular to them you know what mm -hmm. I mean mm -hmm. and then also to be to be 100 about it we can't solely put the fault on, on, on the DJs for looking at us like that because some of us got to understand the value, the whole concept of building your worth. If a person see you in the club every night, you with your homeboys bounce around, slap and dap every night, ain't nobody going to be entitled to be, you know what I mean, enticed to see you perform. They're not going to look at you as a professional because you're just a regular. You know what I mean? So us as artists, we kind of like, we got to look at the club scene as a job site. You feel what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's what I feel. If you If you look at it as a job, then you'll be, you know, you'll be more inclined to not be out there all the time. You know what I mean? Yeah, and then, like, the with the DJs, what the DJs got to understand is that they don't understand the whole concept of actually being a DJ. A DJ break records. You understand what I'm saying? If you uh, sitting in there, you're getting a playlist, you watching BET, or you listening to Pandora, you seeing what everybody else playing nationwide, you're not a DJ. Yeah, you play music. Right. You understand what I'm saying? And then, like the whole the whole concept of breaking the record, you got to keep your ears to the streets to see what people kept, what they picking up on. You know what I mean? Everything moves as a machine. That's the line. You feel what I'm saying? So, right when everybody can grasp that concept that it take a machine <laughs> to develop a music market, I think we could push a little bit further. Why do you think that the DJs here, you know, won't play your music in the club, or why is it hard for them to play? your music in a club. I mean, you're from here. This is your True. town. This is where you are. Why do you think, you know, it's so hard to get the DJs to play, you know, the music? I think some of the problems is some of the DJs, 
they already have affiliations. And when you have affiliations, you have a loyalty to like your your clique, your camp. So when so if you're a DJ and you're breaking records and you only breaking your record, breaking your people records, how can you be internationally known for breaking something from out of South Florida or New York or California or Oregon when you're only playing the eight people in your camp that's running your little circle that y'all trying to get up off the ground. That's cool and all, but when you trying to make a brand and DJ such and such, how are you going to say I break records when you're only breaking one particular people's type of people's records? You can't be a DJ and only be loyal. Like a DJ loves music. He's supposed to love music no matter where it's from, no matter who is who is by, no matter who he reps. If it's good music, you should be willing to play it. You should be willing to love it. And people gonna love good music. Loyalty is good in, mm -hmm. in a business, but like you still have to keep it music business, not music and separate the business. It's all one. Well, there's yeah. another thing you got to think about. The DJs, they want to play something that's hot too, you know, and it ain't a really a lot of hot, consistent, consistent artists around here right now that's doing what they need to do to catch the DJ's attention and make him feel like, hey, I need to play this, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If we act more serious, you know what I'm saying, then DJs will see that we're more serious and they'll probably start playing things a little bit more too because they have a playlist too, you know, and, and if, 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 if your song ain't hot, then he ain't going to screw up his night by playing something that ain't gonna really be catch or make people just die down all of a sudden you gotta keep it crumb. Yeah, and to go to go off of what he said, man, at the end of the day, they work, you feel me? So mm -hmm. they kinda looking at it like, well, if I don't do it, this next cat will, you feel me? So if I don't play this radio hit, he gonna play it. Mm -hmm. He gonna have my job that night, you know what I'm saying? So I kinda I kinda understand it's like it's like a fear thing, man. Like you don't really wanna step across that boundary too much. And mess with this local. You might think he hot. You gonna tell him he hot. But at the end of the day, you gotta answer to the promoter. They gotta answer to the club owner. So it's it's, it's kind of like a fear thing, man. And then you know, it's some DJs out there that will say, "Forget it, man. I'm, I'm gonna do it anyway." You know what I'm saying? They throw it in there, and I, and I commend them. But I do understand, you know, people gotta eat. It's just that's that's kind of part of the reason I feel like it's just a fear. You know. What I'm saying? And true you know what I'm enough, saying? they got yeah, they yeah. gotta eat. But I will say this though, like. That's that's true if it was an actual music market here. Because like a lot of these DJs here to, to be one hundred, they just get paid to come in there and play the music. They not like they don't really have no serious repercussions if they do break records. And the thing about it with the artist, don't worry about going to the DJs to break your record to begin with. Go to the people. It all goes down to the people, man. You know what I'm saying? So we give the DJs more power than what they actually supposed to have. You get what I'm saying? Yes, so we kind of get them into that whole realm of, oh, I'm the gatekeeper. You feel what I'm saying? Because after a while, bro, like, honestly, you pound these streets, man. I'm talking about don't nothing. Even though they got the internet, the internet cool. But us as artists, we got to realize that that internet can also make us lazy. You know what I mean? Because I don't care how many people you can reach on that internet, don't nothing beat the hand to hand. I stay my behind at the club, and I stay pounding these people. I stay pounding the streets. You know what I'm hey. saying? Ain't no filter in between us and them people. Hey. It's different when you in that club. You're going to catch hell trying to get up there to that booth. I don't care if you got $100 with your CD. You're going to catch hell. Security going to stop you. Who going to stop you from hitting that block in front of the Arab store? You know what I mean? We got to keep in mind that we trying to build a market here. Ain't no market, so really ain't no repercussions if you do play a, a, a record that you consider that's garbage because like don't nobody know you as a DJ outside this area anyway so yeah, that's, that's what true. reputation do you have on the line you feel what I'm saying it ain't about nobody else on nobody man I'ma just be real if you an artist the best thing I can tell any artist invest in your damn self first and foremost nobody ain't gonna nobody up there don't believe in you if they ain't messing with you they ain't doing nothing they don't like you, no nothing. They can't deny it if you did it yourself. Do it your damn self so you ain't got to worry about that. Whether they like it or not, they can't take that from you. Bruh, I, I did all my homework before I laid any track down. I had my own label. Literally. I got my own EIN. I own this stuff. Literally, I pay these people to do this. This is music that we are doing. But first and foremost, you have to handle your business. Now, once you do your business, don't take your music to the street, man. 
They can't deny you regardless. Nobody can't say nothing about that. That's Everything that I did, I own. I own this. Okay. This is always, I own this, man. This is mine. It's gonna get loud tonight, I can feel it. There's something in the air, you just cannot see it. So let's get a move on. It's time to put some moves on.